So when it comes to holding your phone or your tablet in the Mavic controller, there's a lot of different options. Obviously the arms um, adjust and fit phones, iPad minis and everything else. The issue that I had is one, after using my iPhone 7 for first couple of flights, I realized that I needed a bigger screen. And so I started looking and obviously the iPad minis were pretty much the go-to suggestion for that. So I picked up an iPad mini. However, the issue that I had is that once you have an iPad mini in a case, it no longer fits in the arms. The little slots on the sides here are just a little bit too small. So even if you have a relatively thin case, your iPad's not going to fit. Well, the problem is I don't like having iPads not in cases because all it takes is one drop or a screen getting scratched or dents or whatever else. So I didn't want to have to deal with that. So the options, of course, then are open up to tablet mounts. So there's a couple different types of tablet mounts. Um, some just kind of go on here on the face and angle towards you and a couple are lower so you can see the screen. I never really saw an, a reason why I needed to see the screen. And so I opted for uh, a mount that just has a base plate that goes in between the two plates and obviously attaches with an iPad or your tablet or whatever device it is that you're using so that you can see what your Mavic is seeing. I went for the Usopi tablet mount. So let's get that unboxed and take a look, see what's in here and how it fits with the actual controller and with the iPad. And here is the mount itself. And when you open it up, you get a little lanyard and a sleeve case. So the lanyard, let's see, is actually got DJI stuff on it. Don't know that it's a legitimate DJI product, but it says it, so why not? And of course, this is what we're really interested in, and that is the mount itself. The actual piece that clips onto your tablet, it is spring-loaded, and it's got a little plastic nut here on the back to tighten it down and pretty thin and of course it's got foam on the sides so that way with the spot that your tablet is sitting in have some cushion and this does claim that it does fit up to a regular iSat or i says ipad and so it should be pretty good um, for pretty much any tablet or phone um, obviously excluding maybe the, the newer ipads that are like the 13 or 12.9 inches or 12.7 inches, whatever it is, but should hold it pretty well. And so that's plastic. It's got spring-loaded uh, parts in there. And then here's the part that actually mounts into the base of your controller. So with this, this is aluminum, I think. Um, it's definitely got some some weight to it, but I don't think it's going to be an issue when you have it obviously mounted or you know, aid to you know, oh, this is too heavy or that kind of thing. And it's got these little metal arms and they feel really solid, they're not loose or anything. And they go together like that. And once they're together like that, they've got a ball on the end, which this piece snaps into. And like I said, this does feel really solid. It doesn't feel like it's loose at all. And fit and finish on it is actually pretty good. And although it does have the corners on here, there's no sharp edges or anything like that that I'd be worried about potentially slicing my finger on or something like that. So once that is set up, go ahead and place it into the controller. And obviously that just pops in there just like your normal phone would. And you give it a good squeeze and it tucks in here on the sides and butts up against the top of that. And that feels pretty solid. So looks good so far. And then on the top piece right here, you can go ahead and just give that a good push. Oh, unscrew that a little bit and that pops in there and then you can adjust it however you like and tighten it down so obviously the real test comes in is when you have a tablet on there how does it really look well let's find out so like i said i'm using the ipad mini and this is the ipad mini 4 and it does have cellular but that's going to be same size regardless of what you've got and otherwise balance feels really good when you're holding it in your hands the bottom of the ipad actually kind of rests a little bit here on my hands so that kind of helps keep things nice and stable and balanced and you can see on here on the back still definitely got a lot more room for that to expand on and of course you can wiggle it a little bit and then once you kind of find a spot that you really like you can tighten that down a little bit more 
And otherwise, I really like this. I've been using it now for a couple flights. Controls are still super easy to access. Everything's on the back here. And although the screen is hidden on the back, you're really not looking at the screen very, very much. Anything that shows up on here is also gonna show up on here. And because the controller and everything is right here, all the buttons are still very easy to access. So you can still get to all the joysticks and buttons and everything without needing to look at it. You can just do it by feel. So overall, I'm really happy that I've got this. I highly suggest having a tablet mount for your Mavic. If you don't have one yet, and you've been just squishing your iPad into the tablet. That does work, obviously, but this just is so much more comfortable, and you can run a case on your, your iPad without having to worry about um, dropping it because if you're using the mount on the controller, you can't have a case. And so, obviously, it only takes that one time to drop the tablet, and now it's broken, and then there's sadness and tears. So definitely something that you should look into and I've been using it now for a while. Shipping was really fast on it. You can find a link for it down in the description and it's affordable, it's easy to use, it's compact. It comes apart very easily so that way when you're ready for travel, you can break it down um, very efficiently. Let's see if I can do that here. Then loosen that up, give a good pull and that comes off. And then obviously on this piece, the little arms fold down and you're all set. Now, what I've been finding is that for myself, I've actually just been leaving it assembled and everything. And all I do is take it out of the actual controller itself. So if you don't wanna have to break this down every time or you've got room to leave it um, assembled, you can do that. that is, that's what I do. And if you have a little bit of space extra for it, definitely something I suggest. So really, really happy with this purchase. And if you don't have an iPad, or you're not running a tablet on your Mavic, you really are missing out. There's a lot more detail and it's so much easier to frame and see shots when you're using an iPad versus just your phone. I did try using the phone uh, occasionally and sometimes in a pinch if I'm really trying to cut weight, I won't bring my tablet and I'll just run my phone, but it's so nice to have a tablet and run the Mavic from your tablet using a mount like this. So again, check out the link in the bottom. Uh, subscribe to the channel. There's going to be more reviews and everything else coming out as I pick up more, more uh, little toys and trinkets for the, the Mavic and also for the Spark, which obviously just got released. So I have a lot more footage coming out for that. So subscribe and comment if you have any questions or you need help with something.